Happy Saturday, everybody. Brett here with Double Shots. I'm excited because Dylan has asked me to come back to answer uh, a couple things here. Uh, before I get started, if you like our content, subscribe to our channel. Give this video a big like after you are done watching it. And if you want to see something else, comment, and uh, we'll try to bring you something else. So, he had somebody ask him about DirecTV Stream and what it is. Well, we've all heard of AT&T TV, correct? Well, AT&T wanted to rebrand everything. There's also a private equity company called TBG, TPG that owns 30% of the company, AT&T owning 70% of it. They wanted to rebrand it, make it a little more successful, make it rich and vibrant, and they brought in Direct TV Stream, which is essentially almost the same thing as AT&T TV. Now, before we also get any f further on this, this is my own independent review. I'm not getting paid a conjunction sponsored or any promotion given with this review. It was over my own based opinions and facts of what I've concluded with that. So, if you have AT&T TV as of right now, there's really nothing more that you have to do than update that app, depending if you're on an iPhone, an Android, uh, Apple TV, Roku TV, Samsung TV. That's the new logo, Direct TV Stream. I like it simply because it kind of keeps in the branding. They bought Direct TV. Now keep in mind, this is streaming. This is not the actual satellite dish. So you don't have to have somebody come in and do cable install fees. Now there are boxes that you can purchase, but I always recommend, I've never been a big fan of their box that they've had whenever using them. I think they're really laggy and glitchy. I've always preferred to use whether Roku, which I do own Roku devices, which work really, really well. But I also like my Apple TV devices simply for the fact of the matter is uh, a better, to me, better content. Uh, I think it has a better uh, interface for it. So I'm going to go ahead and click into here, go to my guide and everything, and right now we're going to just sit here and we're going to watch TV while I get into everything here. So let me go ahead and do that for you. That's this. Uh, let's get into that. Football. So we're going to watch football in the background here for a little bit. So one of the things I always tell people, streaming services. You actually have to have, I always recommend an ample, uh, ample service, whether it's with your uh, cable company, uh, cellular company, or uh, your local telephone company, whether it be AT&T, whoever you have in your area. Uh, in my area, we have Charter. I know there's Comcast and everything, and uh, Time Warner, etc. Meanwhile, as far as off of things, uh, you want to make sure you have an ample bandwidth with you, with you streaming. So those are important. Now the pros of it, it's a month to month. So there's no contract given to it. So if you're looking at something, trying to get yourself in the market for streaming services, it's a way to go. You, don't, you, you, you spend minimal money. You are spending that money up front. So instead of it being postpaid, where it, you're usually built for it, you pay for your services in advance. So you're being built for that service in advance. However, you have no cable installs, nothing. So you don't have to worry about those lease fees on uh, your uh, cable boxes or anything. You don't have to wait for somebody to go ahead and come in to install it. You can go ahead, hook it up to your television, and in five minutes, you can be rocking and rolling with your TV subscription as far as off of it. And they work on, uh, for direct TV stream, it works on Fire TV, Android devices, Apple TV, Apple iOS, Chromecast, Roku, Samsung. So there's not a lot of devices that it work. It's not as many as what Sling TV had, but it's still a lot. It's what major a lot of people do have going from there. So let's go ahead. They have some packages. Now I'm not going to tell you prices because they differ from each to every package, but they have one, two, three, four different packages that I can see. And it's all pretty much the same as what it was with AT&T TV. It looks like it's about the same price going from there. So they have their essentials. Their essentials is pretty much their basic. And that's what they limit it as, which gives you 65 plus 
channels. It gives you on some of their on-demand content. It's their basic, where you get your ESPN, TNT, Nick, HGTV, and more. Your locals are included with that as well, too, which is nice as well. Then you have your choice package, which... And that, they're giving you three months of HBO Max included, but also you're getting your regional sports networks. So you're getting whatever area you are in, your market, you're getting that sports network. Keep in mind, it's really hard to get those sports networks now. I have Fubo TV as well, and I can't watch my local team. And my local team would be the St. Louis Cardinals. And I can't watch them, unfortunately. So that's a bummer for me. Uh, with them, I would actually get Bali Sports Midwest and Mid. Uh, I think it's Midwest Plus as well too. So I get both of those, which is a plus in that, which is a big factor, especially if you're a sports fan and you like to cheer on your own team. It's kind of nice, and unfortunately, I've kind of generalized the market with that, and it's been happening with a lot, and it's hard to get them. With a lot of companies to get your own, uh, your, your own sports team with that. But they give you 90 plus channels plus on demand content with that. Next up, you get your ultimate. Now, your ultimate, they give you, uh, they advertise this as your sports, news, movies. You get your regional sports, as in the choice also gave you. You get the three months of HBO Max included. You also get uh, 130 plus channels. So that's kind of where they go with that. Of course, it is higher price. Then you have your premiere. Your premiere is their big one. It's like the grand finale. It's got everything you need in it. Of course, it costs a premium price. It includes your HBO Max, your Showtime, and more. 140 plus channels. It has included... Over 65,000 on-demand titles. Um, you have stars I know in it, Showtime, Epics. So things like that are included with that premiere as compared to your choice, your ultimate, and the essentials. Now the nice thing is they have packages and tiers based off of what you watch. Every one of their packages, like how I'm watching this on my local CBS, which is nice. So I don't have to have an antenna sitting here hanging uh, in the background to go ahead and watch. Now, as you can tell, I'm, uh, I'm at, again, I'm watching the Chiefs game right here. This is actually pre-recorded Friday night, guys. So uh, this is a, a pre-recorded one. But I like the interface of this and everything. It's, uh, it's really, really good. The nice thing, here's their guide. Let's go ahead and go down it. And it's in oh, an alphabetical order to things. How they go. Which is really, really nice. Uh, let's go to... I have HBO. Let's go ahead and just go over some of the channels that you do get. If you don't mind. <laughs> let's go back up. Oh, look. Baby TV. Dylan's favorite. Okay. So starting off. A and E, ABC, ACCN, AMC, Animal Planet, AWE, Access TV, Baby First, Bali Sports Midwest, Bali uh, Sports Midwest Plus, BBC, BET, Big One uh, G Network, Bloomberg Television, Boomerang, Bravo, C Span, C Span Two, Cartoon Network, CBS, Cheddar, Clio TV, CMT, CNBC, CNN, CNN. CNN International, that was Spanish. Uh, Comedy TV, Comedy Central, Cooking HD, Crime Investigation Discovery, Disney, Disney Junior, Disney XD. And this is actually the, uh, the choice package right here that I am actually demoing right now. Uh, e, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPN, Food, Fox Business, Fox HD, Fox News, FS1, Freeform Fuse, FX HD, FXX HD Game Show Network, all the Hallmark channels. Uh, I actually added the movies, uh, the uh, which is called the uh, Movies Extra Pack. HBO, HBO, all the HBOs that they have. HGTV, History, HLN, HSN, HDNet, IFC, ID, Jewelry, Justice, Lifetime, MGM. 
MLB Baseball, Motor Trend, MTV, MTV Live 2, NBA Basketball, NBC, MBSN, MBCSN, sorry, Newsmax, Knicks Juniors. Let's go down to Own Network, Paramount Pop, QVC, Reels Channel, Sci, SEC Network, Shop, Sundance, Sci Fi, Taste Made, TBC, TCM, uh, Tennis Channel, Weather Channel, TLC, TNT, T Travel Channel, True TV, TV Land, and sorry, I'm going through a lot of this, USA. VH1, Vice, We. So there's a lot of channels that the choice, and again, this is the choice package, and look how fast it is actually to load. It's stream, It's got a great picture quality. That is one of the things I really do like. I mean, between what I have looked at, if I compared this to Sling TV that I showed the other day, this takes the cake of it. I mean, it's really, the picture quality is 100 times better than what Sling TV is. A lot more channels. Yeah, it's a little more pricier, but it gives me everything I need, and it's very seamless and fast. Here I am. I'm going to go to the Weather Channel. They're, they're, they're tracking, but look how fast it loads and everything. Now, one of the downfalls that you have with HBO, or not with HBO, with AT&T TV, is that they give you only 20 hours of uh, record time. However, I will name the price on it. For $10 or more, you can add unlimited DVR across as far as off of things. And they always recommend that you have 8 megabits per second of, uh, of uh, download stream speed to be able to watch their television. So that way it's giving you an ample. But I always usually recommend more than that, just so that way you do have ample bandwidth. You can simultaneously stream on multiple TVs. So if I wanted to go ahead and have this programmed into three different TVs, I could do that at one time. And it doesn't have to just be TVs. You can take it with you on the go. So I could have it on my phone, watch it at one time, I could have it on a TV, I could have it on my computer if I wanted to, and be able to watch at the same time. I'm not really limited. Again, you also don't have those cable installers that have to come in, so you can virtually get set up in five minutes. Let's go ahead and watch a little bit of this as far as off of it. a lot of people traveling uh, from there. But again, it really, really is, uh, I mean... It, so, uh, as a person who you, who's used Fubo TV, this really gives a big run for the money. I think they both work really, really good. Price-wise, uh, the prices, they're about where they need to be. Me, uh, if you were comparing Fubo to Direct TV Stream, uh, one of the ups that this does give is it does have, again, your regional sports networks, which Fubo does not give the regional sports network. So if you want your local team in the area for your baseball, Bali Sports, you're going to find it on DirecTV Stream as compared to Fubo. You unfortunately do not have that. So that does have a plus up. And again, the picture quality is awesome. Comparing picture qualities, it's really, really great. I really like how that is. Uh, let's get back out of here. You can go to your library if you go over, and that will show you what's recording. And then you can go to On Demand, and this will show you everything that you can watch on demand right here. And it's a really cool feature and everything. Again, let's go ahead and back out. Let's go back down. Let's go to that, and let's go back in here to watch that. And again, picture quality is really, really good. I have not had any problems with it. Even when it was with AT&T TV, I didn't have any problems with it. So the transaction was really, really the same thing. Nothing missed. The only thing I do recommend, if you are wanting to get your feet wet into it, do not opt for their for their for their box. And their box can be hardwired or wireless, but as well, too, as far as off of it, they do charge fees on leasing those boxes. I would recommend go out, buy an Apple TV, a Roku streaming device, or a Fire TV, or Chromecast, 
I would recommend. Or if you have a Samsung TV, use that as far as off of things. Saves you a couple dollars and everything. And again, you're going to get a better interface than what I think their, their box itself. And they might have done modifications with that since uh, the last time I've used them. But I just don't recommend them. Every time I've used them, they've lagged. And they get really, really hot as compared to my normal devices. My Apple TVs that I've used, I've never had a problem with them one bit. So I hope anybody looking for DirecTV Stream, now that it's been updated, or looking into their product, uh, I hope this review helps you well in trying to make that decision. Again, it's one of those things you have to make that decision on. Uh, one thing I have the approach of uh, from a lot of people nowadays is the bundling factor. A lot of companies want you to bundle to save money and uh, discounts and go from there. Those are some cost alternative ways to do. you got to offset and find what's a better deal for you as a customer. Me, I cut the cord actually uh, and honestly about a year ago. And I haven't looked back simply because I can get what I want what I want to watch. When I was going through my guide, 95% of the time, I would see in here, minus, you know, your, 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 your uh, HSN and your QVC, you would have dozens of infomercial channels. I see no need in having those built into my programming. And sometimes I had programming that I did not want. And this gives me the opportunity to be able to have the channels that I want and be able to watch those channels that I want. And it's very good picture quality. Again, I don't have to worry about a satellite dish. If it rains outside, my service is not going to go out. Yeah, does it run over an uh, internet? But there's multiple devices that you can do. Again, there are pros and cons. Number one, you're paying for it up front. So you're paying for that cost up front as compared to being billed for it. But then again, no contract. So if it's something you don't like, you can always cancel. You don't have to worry about a big cancellation fee or anything from there. So again, I hope this review helps anybody looking for uh, information on DirecTV Stream. Again, if you like our content, subscribe to our channel. Give this video a big, big like. I want to thank Dylan from Double Shots for allowing me to go ahead and come back and do another technology video. Uh, if there's something you guys want to see, comment, and I will go ahead and try to uh, do a review on that. Until next time, I will see you guys at the next stream, and have a great weekend.